porque si lo pierdes. Hey, what's up? Welcome to our channel. Yes, I said our channel because it's mine to record, yours to watch. And yeah, today we are making a Mr. Beast piñata. So as you guys know, for the most part, I always like to recycle, use um, any recycled things that I have. So I have this hanger box that I had and I actually did this piñata in like one night. Um, I had been working on the Mario piñata for about a week, so I didn't have time to make my son's piñata. And this was the night before his birthday. I didn't really plan him anything, so I was like, I have to make him a piñata. So as you guys can see, I cut the box, and then right here I am just kind of doing the outline of how I want my like piñata to be, like the shape, and then I'm just going to cut it out. Now right here with another marker, I just went ahead and continued to... Um, give it like a more defined shape and I will just be cutting this part off now as I said before I was working on another one so I didn't have the time to make this as strong as I normally would with layers of paper so I'm just gonna be using tape for the most part so yeah I'm just um, cutting the edges of the piñata and once I am done I'm gonna place this on top of the other side of the cardboard and just trace over it so that it could be um, even and once I am done tracing I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out so by the time that I started working on this piñata it was already about 10 p.m. and I really had to work on it because I told them that I was not gonna be able to make him his piñata so I did have a troll piñata saved up and I told them I would just that he would just have to break that one. He really wanted the Mr. Beast piñata, so since I often do piñatas, I was like, how am I not gonna make my own son his piñata? So I just worked on this all night long. So right here, I am taking this current box um, and just cutting it in half, then removing the excess cardboard so that they could be even, and these are this is what's gonna give it the dimension so that the candies are gonna go in the middle. So after I am done cutting all of the edges of this piñata, I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to the face of it. Now as you guys can see, I did leave this little piece of cardboard like hanging there so that it could be easier for me to attach it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue throughout the edges and hold it in place until it dries. Once it is right i am just gonna go ahead and continue to do the same thing throughout the whole edges of this so yeah just working in sections and i do end up adding a little bit of tape so once i am done with the bottom part i am gonna go ahead and attach the top part of it and close it up right here as you guys can see i will be adding a little bit of tape and I do continue to do that throughout. I add glue and sometimes it takes a while to dry so I will also be adding more tape to help me keep it in place. So as I said before, since I was working on this the day before his birthday, I wasn't going to have the time to um, add the layers of paper or newspaper that I usually do. So for the most part, it was just done with tape. Um, it was not as strong as I usually make them, but I had to get this done the same night. So as long as he got to see it and hit it, that was my goal, you know, so that he could be happy. Now, once I did finish adding tape all over and a little bit of string to, like, that was where it was going to hang from, I took the colors, which were yellow, blue, and a pink and I just started cutting it into the fringe. Um, I usually like to do this type of paper. Um, I used to do tissue paper but it takes me longer but this works faster. So it is about 2 in the morning. Well, 2.18. I don't know if you can see but it's 2 a.m. I am tired but I had to finish this. So when my son wakes up, he has his piñata. I'm tired but this is where I'm at and I gotta keep on going. You know? So yeah. 
So these are just some pictures that I got. I thought I was recording, but I, they just ended up being pictures. It's just to show kind of like the border of the piñata. And then I just moved on. Um, I didn't get to record where I covered it. But then right here we are working on the face part. So I'm just attaching a couple of pieces of like pink paper. But this is just so that I could kind of have like a guide as in where I'm going to be placing um, the rest of the paper. So right here I'm just adding glue with a brush. I usually do engrudo or like a adhesive spray which worked really fine. This also works well. It's just not my like number one option for this. But yeah, I'm just adding it and then I'm going to start working from the bottom all the way to the top. So I am really happy and glad that I am going to be able to like get this done for my son because Mr. Beast does not have birthday decorations. So luckily for me, I am able to make him things. I didn't get to do any decoration or the party didn't turn out. Um, I would have loved to do a lot more, but since I was working on it just the night before and then I was just going to have him break the piñata, but then we ended up getting him a cake and doing a little bit more extra stuff for him. But we literally planned the rest of the day that same morning. But yeah. Anyways, back to the piñata right here. This is the mouth. I just looked at a picture and kind of outlined it. And then I am I did cut it and I'm just tracing another part so that... um. It's going to be like the face is going to be on both sides of it. So no matter what side you're looking at it from, you could tell what it is. Now right here I'm just going with the black marker, making sure that all the outlines are there. And once I am done, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it as well. After working on the mouth, I did also go ahead and work on the eyes. I did one of them and then I did the same thing. That I did with the mouth I just traced over it and just cut it out so this is kind of like what it's looking like right here I'm just gonna add the nose and start adding a couple of more details to it okay so it is five four fifty four a.m. I am so tired I still have to finish this side this part is almost done but it's good enough for him to tell so what it is so i'll be done later on i guess today hopefully in time to break and now i'm going to sleep so good night everybody i'm going to sleep because people are sleeping and i don't want to wake up and i don't want to wake up anyone so yeah see you guys so I did end up finishing it the next morning, the piñata, and then I also found a white cake at a at the store, so I purchased it, and my sister, she freehand a Mr. Beast logo. We weren't able to get the exact same color of the icing for his logo, but I think she did a pretty good job, and my son was really happy. We also ended up getting him a mariachi. here he still thought he was gonna break a trophy he had no idea this is the final product i really like how it came out my son was really happy with it and if mr beast you ever see this don't forget to start making party decorations you know because kids really look up to you and if you guys would like to see me do a 3d version of it um let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share and subscribe see you guys next time let's see what else 
I create.